Is there a secret formula to getting better engagement on Instagram or is everyone else just better at Instagram marketing than me? If you clicked on this video, you're probably looking to level up your Instagram strategy and grow more followers organically. And in order to do this, you need to continue improving your engagement on Instagram. Hi everyone, I'm Haley Dasevich. I'm a YouTuber and social media consultant based in San Francisco. And on this channel, you will find lifestyle challenges, travel adventures, and social media and tech advice. I recently did a Q&A with my followers on Instagram about Instagram content strategies. And one of the biggest questions I received was, where do I even start if I want to grow my audience? Engagement is the most important parameter in growing your account because according to the Instagram algorithm, the more people interact with your posts, the higher the position you get on the explore page. Let's face it, Instagram is an increasingly competitive place if you wanna grow your account. There's so many clever and visually stunning accounts out there that you've gotta keep up with making your business stand out and showing off your brand. So today we're gonna to talk about 10 growth strategies you can start implementing right now to gain more followers organically and boost engagement in 2021. Stay tuned because I will be releasing a social media course in the coming months. So subscribe to my channel and let's dive into it. First off, let's get the obvious or maybe not so obvious out of the way. Your Instagram account is not growing if you are doing these things. Part of engagement groups, if you follow for follow, if you buy followers, or if you're paying a service to spam other people's DMs about your account, which I've been getting a ton of spam messages recently about people telling me to check this person out even though they have nothing to do with that person. I just delete them immediately. I don't even waste my time to look at that. These are unrealistic growth strategies that at the end of the day will do nothing for you because they're not sustainable and they're not gonna get you the followers you want. Instagram is cracking down on bots and spam messages. They can see that you're doing it and will likely suspend or shadow ban your account which leads us into the next strategy creating an authentic audience needs to be your number one goal you are basically creating your own community so how would you get your community involved by interacting with them to drive more engagement from your followers you need to talk to them social media isn't a one-way street if you want to build a larger audience you firstly need to acknowledge them Remember, every comment or DM that you receive, it means that that person actually took the time to stop and look at your account or your post, write a comment, and share their thoughts. So respond to each and every comment. If you were hanging out with a group of your friends and someone gave you a compliment or asked you a question, would you ignore that? Probably not because it would be a little bit awkward. So try to respond to every comment as if you were responding to your friend, like face to face. And as your account starts to grow and you get more comments, you might not fully be able to respond to every single comment, but you can still heart each comment or respond to as many as you can, even with a simple emoji. Utilize Instagram's metrics to improve your engagement. To access Instagram data, you do need to switch to a business account if you haven't already. The first and most important metric you need to track is engagement. To measure your engagement, it's useful to look at a few different metrics likes, comments, clicks, brand tags, and mentions. Engagement rates tell you if people are interested in your products, your image, and ultimately your brand and your messaging. If they aren't liking or commenting, then they're probably not as interested as they could be. So you can use these engagement metrics to paint a better picture of what your audience likes to see. What kind of posts get a larger response? What kind of photo gets more likes? What kind of caption gets more shares? When are your followers most likely to ask you a question or leave a comment? Measuring the engagement using these metrics will be helpful for you to know which posts are resonating with your audience and which posts you might need to iterate on more. Figure out your niche and you can connect deeper with the right people. If you have a lot of interests, I know that it could be daunting to think about having to narrow all of that down. So here's a quick exercise for you that will help you figure out what you're going to become an expert on. Let's assume your Instagram feed is made up of things that you enjoy. So get a notepad and write down all of your current interests in life. Like make a list of maybe five to 10 of the biggest interests you have. It can be anything and everything. Okay, so for example, I would write down travel, adventure, hiking, food, history, tech, 
motivational speakers, the natural world, etc. right? Then go back to your Instagram account and from your list, cross out everything on your list that you don't see on your Instagram account. So I would cross out movies and motivational speakers. So now what's left is travel, adventure, hiking, food, history, and tech. Now consider what people ask you about. What do you talk to your friends about? What do your friends ask you about? Go back to your list and cross out what people don't ask you about. So try and aim for three things on your list. Now that your list is shorter, you do have a general idea, which is a good thing. So now what you wanna do is spend a lot more time with the interests that you have left on that list. You'll start to learn what you do and what you don't like within these interests. Even if you think everyone has the same interests, everyone does travel, food, fashion, or whatever. Remember that you have a unique voice. You're gonna put your own spin on it. And there is plenty of room on the internet for you to make your own space and communicate what you want to. Send a DM to your new followers. This will give you a boost in engagement in your Instagram account overall. And the reason why is Instagram doesn't actually show every single one of your posts to every single one of your followers. Only a percentage of your followers will see your posts at first because the more engaged your followers are, the higher the percentage the post will go out to them. So if you engage with new followers, you're basically showing the Instagram algorithm that you already have a strong relationship with this new user or new follower. And the Instagram algorithm says, okay, they'll probably have a higher interest in seeing your new feed posts. Algorithms aside, you're actually getting personal with this new follower, which will naturally make them feel welcomed and wanting to come back. But make sure that your new messages are unique to the person though. It's not going to work if you have an autoresponder and that feels like spam. And the point of this is to genuinely engage as you would with a friend. Which brings us to my next tip. Make your followers your friends. You want your followers to look at you as friends and you want to look at your followers as friends too. So how do you form a friendship? Well, the more personal and real you can be with your followers, the better they will get to know you and that builds trust. Showing your followers that you can be silly or vulnerable or even talking about your struggles shows people that you are a human being and that alone is relatable. People will respond in kind and you'll connect on a deeper level. Even if you never meet in real life, a great way to show your followers more humanness and more rawness beyond taking photos is through uploading stories. Anyone can have a beautiful edited photo, but also what you should be doing is showing what's real and use your stories as another form of communicating as you would to a friend or your followers. Post educational or instructional content. One huge factor the Instagram algorithm takes into account is your relationship with other users. So the Instagram algorithm will prioritize showing your posts to users who are interacting the most with your posts. What this means, simply put, is the longer a user engages with your post, the more your posts are pushed out to that user's feeds, be it posts or stories, or anything else on Instagram. When you create content that is packed with information, like maybe you offer a suggestion to something or you pose a question and then provide a solution, your followers will be way more inclined to engage and respond and comment and maybe DM you. They also might be inclined to share that information packed piece of content. Comments and shares are the two biggest drivers that boost engagement. Use all of Instagram's features. Use all the different formats, stories, carousel posts, ads, highlights, and most definitely the video formats. Video takes up most of the space on the discovery page and they have a higher engagement rate than do static images or carousel posts. The more you can use these different features on Instagram, the better your engagement will be because of the variation that you're giving your audience. For example, you can really show off your personality with Instagram Reels. Unlike a static post, Reels can help you showcase your sense of humor, your taste in music, basically your fun side. Showing a slice of your real life that isn't curated is always a good idea. Let's face it, people like doing business with people and not necessarily brands. 
post more photos of your face or people's faces in general. People are more drawn to photos with people's faces because it gives them this nonverbal communication. Sharing photos of faces like yours will humanize your brand and also make you look approachable. You can make a deeper connection with your audience the more they see you because you're the one interacting with them and this will really boost your engagement. Don't over post. When you're planning out your posts on your content calendar, which I hope that you're doing, take a moment and consider how this content contributes to your brand and your overall messaging. Does it effectively encourage engagement from your followers? Or are you just posting for the sake of posting? If you truly want to connect with your audience, try sharing one compelling photo instead of like five mediocre photos. Also, Think about writing well thought out captions. You can approach caption writing in a few different ways. It can be serious and thought provoking or funny and lighthearted. You can write a long detailed caption that tells a story or it can be short and to the point. Maybe a caption that enhances the photo and gives the user additional context to what's going on. Instagram's main objective is to make users happy and let them enjoy the experience they have using this social media platform. Implementing all of these tactics I just shared with you will drive your engagement, it'll keep your audience interested, and organically it will help you attract new followers to your accounts. Remember that we as businesses or personal brand, we can create a great experience for our followers, which will in turn benefit us. Thanks for tuning in everyone for another Instagram social media strategy video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or you can follow me on Instagram at Haley Takes on the World and send me a DM if you'd like, come and say hi. I'm really excited to see you guys make these changes. So let me know how it's going and good luck to you all. Until next time, take on the world.